big part of what, in my case, is going to uh, bring me better health as I, uh, as I get older and, uh, and also uh, today. So I, I really feel this smoothie is something that uh, is really kind of special. And that's just uh, something that has uh, evolved over the last couple of months as far as the, uh, the ingredients in the smoothie. First thing you need, or I need for this smoothie, is I, I've got my Vitamix uh, mixer, and I've got my Vitamix uh, pitcher. This is the, uh, the wet pitcher for the, uh, the wet ingredients. And so I'm gonna put that on the, uh, the Vitamix <coughs> base. And before I get started, I want to uh, talk a little bit about the dry mixer because um, uh, certainly uh, two of the ingredients that are, uh, are really very important in the smoothie are chia seeds and flax seeds. And uh, both of them are real micronutrient rich, very uh, high in fiber and other uh, nutrients, but they have a protective, uh, I believe it's an enzyme on their shell that kind of protects them out there in the wild so that if an animal eats these seeds, they just run through the digestive system. And so in order to really get the nutrients out of chia seeds and flax seeds, you need to grind them up and to uh, uh, grind them up uh, so they're no longer in seed form, but they're kind of a, a powder type of a form. And that's going to allow you to be able to absorb the nutrients that are in chia seeds and flax seeds. So this, uh, this dry, uh, um, this dry uh, mixer, it's not going to be used today, but it's extremely important in what is going to be done today. <clears throat> and so the first thing that um, I uh, put in my smoothie is uh, kale. And uh, the kale that I've kind of arrived at as far as the, uh, the kale that I really believe in is uh, at Whole Foods. And uh, this is uh, kale that's already been washed. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's pre-washed and just really, seems to me it's really fresh. And so this is the, uh, the kale that I use. I'm gonna start the smoothie out by putting some handfuls of this kale in the, uh, in the blender the Vitamix blender, that is. Okay, now I've got my uh, kale in the, uh, the blender. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna seal this back up and put it in the refrigerator. It's gonna be ready for the next time I need it. The next ingredient that uh, I'm going to uh, be putting in here is I think is really kind of the secret ingredient. I mean, they're all, of course, very important, but what we have here is, these are turmeric roots and uh, ginger. And uh, I've been watching and uh, doing a little research on turmeric roots. I, I no longer trust the turmeric uh, root powder. Uh, it comes from India and other countries, I think India. And uh, it has been known to uh, contain uh, a lead that causes it to be heavier so they uh, they get more money for their uh, tumor crop but also of course you know lead is not something you want to be uh, digesting so I just buy the uh, the roots at Whole Foods and uh, they've got this really nice rich color and then I buy the ginger and I kind of mix these together my new thing is just kind of putting these two in together and so what I'm going to do I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just going to spoon in about my daily amount of turmeric and ginger into the blender. And so I put about three, uh, three tablespoons uh, of turmeric and ginger in there. I'm going to seal that back up and it'll be ready for the next time it's needed, which will be the, tomorrow. I have this smoothie every single day, and I'm, I'm really finding that uh, one of the real benefits has been uh, it's very anti, uh, um, it's anti-inflammatory, and uh, I've always had, uh, well, I'm 61, and uh, I've got, I have scoliosis, and uh, just the aches and pains that come with getting a little older, and uh, I find with the, uh, the turmeric, which is such a great, effective, 
antioxidant, I find that it just uh, kind of takes all of those aches and pains away. So I've got the turmeric in there. And so the next ingredient you want to put in there is I've got this uh, from Whole Foods. It's, it's uh, black pepper. And I'm going to put black peppercorns in the pitcher just a little bit. And apparently what the black peppercorns do is they allow your body to uh, digest the turmeric more effectively. And so that's something new. Today's the first day I've actually put the black pepper, uh, peppercorns in there. So I'm kind of anxious to see what, uh, how that affects the taste of the uh, smoothie. The next thing that uh, on the uh, smoothie agenda is I've got uh, beets. And what I do is I kind of cut them as needed. I had two beets a few days ago. I'm down to one beet. And uh, I'm just going to get my cutting board. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this beet to get it ready to uh, put into the uh, smoothie. And so... This actually just happens to be a whole beet. I, I bought two of these from uh, Whole Foods. They're about, I find they're about enough for me to uh, make a, a week's worth of smoothies. And I've already washed it. And so I'll just take a couple slices. That's my daily allowance of, uh, and when I say uh, uh, beets, this is my daily allowance of beets. I'm going to go ahead and cut them up a little more. Dropped it in the uh, the sink, but I'll pick that up and I'm gonna get that prepared. And I'll put the uh, the rest of the uh, the beets away. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these now in the smoothie. Just by inserting these beets, by the way, if I didn't put the beets, the smoothie would have a, a rich green color. But just by putting those beets, the uh, smoothie actually has kind of a brown color. It looks pretty unappetizing, actually. Or maybe if you like chocolate, it kind of looks like a chocolate smoothie. It's not chocolate, but it's the, the red from the beets to give it that, uh, that color. And so the next thing that I want to uh, discuss is these are my chia seeds. I've already talked a little bit about them in relation to the, uh, um, the dry pitcher, that, uh, the Vitamix uh, blender. Yeah, and so this is what the uh, chia seeds look like, all ground up. I'm going to go ahead and put one big he heaping teaspoon of chia seeds in this uh, smoothie. Yeah, maybe I'm put a little extra. And going to seal these back up. I don't think these have to be refrigerated, at least I haven't been refrigerating them. And uh, if you're watching and you have another opinion, let me know. But I put I make enough for about a week's worth, and so I think that uh, I think they're okay as long as they have them sealed in the uh, in the plastic bag. So the next uh, the next thing on the agenda these are are milled flax seeds, and uh, these flax seeds are already milled, so I don't have to grind these up. And I'm going to put uh, I think I'm going to put about a, a spoon and a half of milled flax seeds in the smoothie. And both flax seeds and chia seeds are both, uh, uh, they're called uh, nature's superfoods. In fact, I, I happen to have uh, <coughs> the package for the uh, chia seeds. It says organic superfood, five uh, grams of fiber, three grams of protein, two and a half grams of omega-3s. Just really, really uh, very, very healthy. These are organic uh, chia seeds. And so flax seeds are also a, uh, uh, one of nature's uh, real superfoods. And uh, I actually bought these, I believe, at Aldi. And uh, I find Aldi actually has some pretty good organics. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a spoon and a half of flax seeds in the smoothie. Gonna seal this back up now. I do refrigerate. They recommend refrigerating the uh, the flax seeds, uh, where you don't have to with the chia seeds apparently. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the refrigerator. Okay, and then the next thing I actually accidentally bought uh, 
these are from Aldi, and they come in these little individual packages, which is real convenient for making smoothies. And uh, I normally buy, they're 100% almonds. These are almond, uh, almond and walnut mix. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that open. And uh, I'm going to throw these in the smoothie. And uh, of course, you know, the, uh, uh, it's recommended that you eat uh, nuts every day. And I, I find if I throw them in the smoothie, I, I kind of know that I'm getting the, uh, the nuts and the nutrition out of the, uh, the almonds that I want to get every day. So I'll just throw those in. We'll throw that package away, put this back up here. And uh, last but certainly not least is uh, almond milk. And uh, um, I actually find, I sometimes I'll actually put seltzer water uh, in the smoothie and I find that kind of changes the, uh, uh, the uh, smoothie quite a bit. But other times I'll put almond milk. Today I'm going to use almond milk. This is the unsweetened natural almond milk. And I'm going to throw that in, I'm uh, going to put that in the uh, smoothie maker. The Vitamix uh, wet blender, I should be more exact. And so that's in there. And I'm going to put a little, no, I mean, I think that should, uh, that should be sufficient, actually. I was thinking of maybe putting a little water, but I realized I, I didn't have any bottled water, and I don't like to put tap water in the smoothie. And uh, speaking of water, I had some water in this uh, lid, but uh, I'll take care of that later. But uh, I'm going to put the uh, lid on the Vitamix mixer. <clears throat> and just a little note on this Vitamix mixer, I, uh, I purchased it couple weeks ago. Before that I had like a, a small portable smoothie maker and it was doing the job. It was it was working but I, I really think that this has been a real life changer the Vitamix. Really glad I got it. I got it used and uh, it has uh, really been a, uh, a real blessing to have this Vitamix mixer. It's real powerful and just does a great job of making smoothies. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this on. You're going to hear the, uh, so I'll turn that on. I'm going to put it on high. And I'm going to let that just mix. For about 60 seconds. stop. I'm going to uh, take the lid off. And this will have a real nice uh, smooth texture to it. And I'm just putting it in. Uh, I already had a smoothie this morning, so I'll be saving like half of this for tomorrow. And this is a little extra smoothie. Today's been uh, actually a very stressful day. And uh, it's New Year's Day, but uh, uh, some family uh, things that had come along. Uh, that were real stressful, so I thought, you know, it probably is good to have a little bit of uh, extra insurance, uh, some extra micronutrients in my system to kind of help keep me well at times where there is some stress. And so here goes uh, the uh, smoothie. I'm going to see how it tastes. Mm. It does have just a really good flavor. I, I love it personally. I don't put any uh, sweetener of any kind in there find that uh, the flavor is just really terrific. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drink this kind of quickly. Wow. I just think it's, uh, you could just feel the ginger and the chia and the flax seeds. Everything's kind of working. You really feel it's uh, kind of detoxing you, it's detoxifying you. And you can just feel those nutrients kind of cursing through your uh, system. So there you have it. That is, uh, that is today's uh, YouTube video on 
how I make my my super smoothie, my micronutrient, nutrient, fiber rich, vitamin uh, rich smoothie that I really think is part of what's going to hopefully keep me healthy uh, 60 years and beyond. Before I go, I'm gonna, I, I, my uh, video wouldn't be complete if I didn't talk a little, a little squash. <clears throat> This is a uh, squash that I had as a side dish yesterday. This is what was left of the uh, of what I didn't uh, put in that side dish, and uh, and so that is uh, interesting. Also, in yesterday's video, I put uh, I put uh, another squash in the oven for an hour, and it came out like this. It's got uh, almost like a zucchini type of a seed or a pickle kind of a seed, white flesh. <clears throat> And I think it's called OP, I believe, or OPA uh, squash. I'm going to be uh, looking forward to trying that for the first time tonight with my dinner. But uh, I want to thank you for joining me on this uh, dinner, or on this smoothie, and uh, talking a little bit about what's going to be in the uh, dinner later. And so thanks for viewing. Be sure to subscribe, and have a wonderful day.